Okay, so what you're going to need is part number 6893, which is the uh, shaft. You're going to need the 5119 bearing. Um, you'll need that for the, when you put it back together. You're going to need part number 5556. You're going to need 5552X. And that is the slipper pads in uh, inner assembly with the springs. Now what I do is, is I change that out to the slipper pads. I change them out to the um, the 5352R. I take the pads out of that kit, which are aluminum racing pads, basically. So I'll be putting those, the 5352R pads, in the 5552X clutch assembly. And you'll need also the three screws, which are part number 2554. They're a three by six millimeter cap screw. You're also going to need a 5116 bearing. Okay, so the first things first, you've got your shaft, and you're going to take your pin, and it's going to go in the hole furthest away from your fingers. Um, you see the threads for the clutch is on this end here for your adjustability, and then you have a hole, and then the next hole out all the way towards the end of the shaft is where you're going to put your pin at. So next you're going to take your uh, part number 5556. Five, you're going to take the part that has what looks like to be like the fan on the back of it. And that's going to go on your shaft. It slides right over top of the pin. Then over top of that you're going to have your slipper plate which is uh, comes in the 5552X. That slides on. Just line it up with the tabs. Then next you put your pads on. Um, just remember, I mean these are aluminum pads. Remember on them uh, in the 5352R uh, kit that the aluminum pads one side is rounded and the other side is flat you want the flat side up put those on and if you're not using those then you can you're using the regular slipper clutch pads it's pretty much it's the same thing so so next you're going to take that assembly with the clutch pads that you just put together and you're going to slide it onto this with the pads facing towards the steel plate one of the pads seem like they always fall off it again next you slide your bearing on take put your bearing inside of your gear and make sure that these cups are facing up for your screw heads it slides on over top of the shaft assembly you just built you're going to put the three screws in next You do not need thread locker on this. I've never had a problem with them. Just tighten them down good. Next is the cone uh, that comes in the 5556. Five, five, and you're going to put it with, let me get my fingers out of the way. You're going to put the cone side going in towards the bearing. Next you have the spring that goes on. And then the lock nut 
is following that. You're going to tighten down your lock nut, tighten it all the way down, and I back it off a quarter to a half of a turn. There's fully tight, and then you're going to have it at, I've got it in the 30 position on the clock, and then I'm going to back that off a quarter of a turn, and then just a little bit past that. So that's all it is to building your slipper clutch. Okay, so there's a correction on the uh, on the slipper clutch. I had the part number 6888X, uh, which is actually the front part uh, for the standard plastic shaft. The part number you need is 6888, and it comes with uh, the three parts that you need to connect the um, the aluminum drive shaft. You actually only need this back piece, which I showed you on one of the. Uh, so the, all you're going to do is uh, on the spring side of this, you're going to put on this piece here so that you can uh, use aluminum drive shaft. You just put it on and you set it down. Set down this tight screw. I'm sorry. You tighten down the set screw. And it already has Loctite on it, so you don't need to add anything more. And that's it. So this slipper clutch is actually for the 4x4 Stampede. And I put it in the Deegan car uh, because I'm not a fan of 48 pitch gears. Um, so this is a direct replacement for the Deegan slipper clutch, which I think is absolute trash. It melted in the first uh, 30 seconds on one of my videos. It's got the aluminum clutch plates in there, which I recommend because they, they I was just, even on my stampede, I was trashing the, the fiber ones that come with everything. But this is a really good idea because you switch over to 32 pitch, put a 32 pitch pinion gear on uh, your Deegan, and uh, you know, it's a lot stronger. And this clutch is, you know, really, really strong. You're going to have a lot better luck with this than um, the standard Deegan stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this in my Stampede because I took the one out of my Stampede to put it in the Deegan car and this new one's going in the Stampede 4x4 now. Uh, once I get it up and running, I'll do some videos on that vehicle, uh, which happens to be my absolute favorite truck that I have. And um, I'll show you what it's all about. It's got an 8 scale motor in it and uh, that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget. Uh, tomorrow, which will be Friday, we have our parts giveaway, and uh, I'm going to select probably three or four different things. Whoever wins, they can choose what they want from that list. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, and I'll have a second video out today.